Hello and welcome. My name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for chair yoga. We're going to be spending the first part of the class sitting in the chair and the last part lying down. I'll be on the earth, but if you want to bring get the earth up to you and rest on a sofa, recline chair or on your bed, then that's fantastic too. Making sure that the chair you're sitting on to start with is comfortable and stable. So if you wiggle from side to side or move your body, you feel quite secure. Deciding for yourself whether you want to sit into the support of the back of your chair or if you want to sit away from it or a little bit of both. Knowing that you can shift at any time. The whole reason for this class is for you to be listening to me a little bit at the time, but most of the time you're listening to yourself, deciding if the guidance feels good in your body, or if there's a different way, an adjustment, or adapting the movement in some way for it to feel better in your body. There's no wrong way of doing any of this, and a fantastic way of figuring it out, whether it works for you, is to imagine the movement or start really small. You can rest at any time, and of course this is a video, so if something doesn't suit you, you can always move on to the next time or the next movement, or go back to one that feels better for you. I'm going to go through pretty much all the joints in the body, but especially moving through the shoulders, the hips, and the spine today. Rooting down through your feet into the surface underneath you, and it doesn't matter if you've got bare feet, socks, or you've got shoes or slippers on. Feet at a comfortable distance. If you want to, you can spread those toes really nice and wide. You can even pick up the toes or the balls of the feet and get that beautiful length and width through the soles of your feet before we take those toes all the way down to the earth, gently, softly, allowing your legs to rest deeply on the earth. You can even push down evenly through your both feet, left and right, feeling the muscles of your legs start to wake up. You might even feel that ripple through to your core, and then exhale, let that pressure go. And that just gives us a really good sense of that earth underneath us, the grounding, whatever those surfaces are underneath your feet. From there, take your awareness up to where your seat meets the chair. You can wiggle wide a little bit, and then we'll do the same thing with our feet. Notice if we're shifted more to one side of the pelvis than another, and see if we can even that up. Notice if your shoulders are forward of your hips or back of your hips, and we're trying to bring them pretty much directly over your hips. That way we're sitting up on top of the sitting bones rather than on the back of the pelvis as we round it, or in that anterior tilt where the tailbone is out behind us. Root down, feet and seat, so we really get connected down to the earth underneath us, that support. And then from there, there's this lifting up through the center line of the body, through the heart space, through the crown of the head. We get the length through the torso, and then allow those shoulders to roll back and down a couple of times, and letting them settle back and down and broaden across the collarbones. Take a big breath in when you're ready, keep the shape, and then let go of the tension. And you can do that a couple of times. And to make any small or big adjustments, you need to. So you're working with your body today and not against it. Beautiful. So this is this rootedness, feet and seat, to rise and this broadness across the upper body. So we're creating space in our body aligning pretty much our bones over each other so the muscles have to do less, so there's less tension involved in our soft tissues and the bones are doing their work. 
From here, let's do a little check-in. So take a breath in, and on that exhale, lower or soften the gaze or even close the eyes. And then ask yourself the question, how am I doing in this moment? Allow anything to arise that does, without judging anything, just with a curiosity. Ask yourself, what's on my mind today? And again, without any judgment, with a curiosity, notice things that come up, people, situations, concerns, things that you're anticipating, things that you're chewing over from the past. With no judgment, no need to change or shift anything. Notice how you're feeling. And again, nothing may come up. You may have certain feelings. You may be able to label them. You may not be able to label them. And it's all okay. Just We're just witnessing and watching. And then allow your awareness to spread out through your body. And ask yourself, how is my body feeling today? And you may notice certain sensations. You may notice your body energy level today. You may notice certain areas that need a little extra attention. Try not to only focus on the louder things in your body. Also notice the quieter things, the ease, the places that feel strong. And from there, we'll start to notice our breath, that gentle rhythm of your breath. And we all breathe differently, so there's no particular breath we're looking for. If it feels comfortable for you, then starting to breathe in and out through the nose. And I only say that because it slows the breath down. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, then there's no need to do it. When we start to slow the breath, and you can simply do that with awareness, deepening the inhale, lengthening the exhale, just a little bit. And as we do this, we start to regulate the nervous system. The breath is that key which regulates the nervous system, which regulates the body, the mind, and the emotions. So with those slightly deeper inhales, slightly longer exhales, notice that rhythm that you're creating. And then we smooth the breath all the way to the top of the inhale and all the way down to the bottom of the exhale. And especially if it's first thing in the morning or depending on what's going on with you, maybe that breath feels a little choppy and that's okay. We're never looking for perfect. We're just showing up and we're trying our best. Inhaling and exhaling. Steadying and smoothing as best as we can. And again, we're not looking for perfect. And there might be some areas of the breath that always for this class or for a longer feel choppy for a while. And that is perfectly okay. We're all different every day. We show up, our body's different, we feel different, and there are different things on our mind and our hearts. And we just show up with a curiosity and work with what we have today. Inhaling and exhaling as smooth as you can allow that breath to be. And once you have that steady rhythm, that smoothness, letting go of any straining, any forcing, so it becomes effortless. Or as effortless as you can allow it to become. And if the breath gets labored at any point in the class, we come back to this longer, smoother, softer quality of breath. And this is a breath you can take into the real life, off your chair, off your mat. And this is a breath that allows us to check back in with ourselves, to regulate the nervous system, and to allow ourselves 
a few breaths and a little pause to notice how we're doing. And again, you can do that check-in at any time. Everything we do in yoga is preparation for real life. So we root down, we get connected down to that support underneath us, and we expand from there, softening the shoulders, and again, this broadness across the chest. And we're aware of our posture. From here, on the inhale, let's take the nose up, top right, as if you're glancing up towards where the ceiling meets the wall. On the exhale, over bottom left, as if you're looking down towards or over that left shoulder. Inhale, top right. Exhale, bottom left. Trying to keep those collarbones broad, the upper body stable and still, and of course we're only moving as much or as little as feels good to us. Let the breath guide you. So the inhale lifts, and that lazy long exhale lowers the chin. Never forcing the body, just like you didn't force the breath. Let's take another one or two here. You can always rest. It's going to look different for each and every one of us. At the end of that exhale, now top left, bottom right. This may feel very different. Top left, bottom right. Mm -hmm. Again, noticing how that feels in your neck, throat, upper back. Adjust the movement if that is what feels better in your body. And let's take another one or two. And at the end of that exhale, we'll put those together. So bottom right, inhale, top right, exhale, bottom left, inhale, top left, exhale, bottom right, and so forth. So up and across, up and across. And again, everything from the collarbones down, still and stable. Noticing how you feel things, adjusting the movement to suit you. And next time we come to bottom left, let's pause. And we'll go around in the opposite direction. So from bottom left, top right, bottom right, top left, bottom left. And continue. And if there's another movement that suits your neck better, please go ahead. Stay connected to the breath, and the breath is connected to the movement. Don't have to match anybody else's rhythm, certainly not mine. And the next time you come across an exhale, let's bring everything back through center. Taking that right and left hand down, dangling on either side of you. Rolling the shoulders back and down a little, and we're rooting to rise again. Connect with the breath, and we're circling both shoulders again. Inhaling up towards the ears, exhaling round and down. You can keep those arms dangling next to you if it feels better for you. You can get those elbows out a little wider, get the arms involved a bit more. Your choice. There's not a right or wrong here. Trying to keep the spine as neutral as possible. So we're rooting to rise, neither arching nor not extending or flexing the spine. Noticing what's going on in your shoulders. You might notice that one shoulder is leading or have a little bit more of a range of motion in one shoulder than the other. Stay away from why stories and just be curious. Then at the end of that exhale, let's pause in whichever direction you're going and let's take those shoulders around in the opposite direction. This is probably gonna feel a little more awkward. You might notice as you connect this movement to your breath, you might notice how you feel this in your body and where you feel it. it might not be in your shoulders. And we're just aware Noticing if anything needs extra ten attention or we need to rest. Let's take another couple like this. 
trying to allow that movement to be as smooth as you smooth the breath. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back through center, keeping those arms dangling down. I'm going to turn that right palm up. On the inhale, bending from the elbow, let's inhale those fingers up, exhale, down, palm down. Again, the arm is an extension of the breath, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, down. Stay here from the elbow, we'll start to move from the shoulder, inhaling and exhaling. You can use that left hand on the side or the leg of the chair if you wish for a little support here option to take that right arm up and overhead as we tilt to the left. Keep that right hip anchored to the chair. We have a tendency to lift it as we take those fingertips over to the left. So we're finding length through that right side of the body. And again, getting used to movement in time with the breath. And that can be as big a movement or as small a movement as feels good to you. And let's take another couple of breaths here. You can always rest, you can mix it up. Keep that breath flowing. More or less, we've got one more breath to go. This is the side flexion of the body. Let's take that arm all the way down, giving that arm a little bit of a wiggle. Hands into a soft or tight fist, and let's just rotate through the wrist there, one direction. And then take that around in the opposite direction. Release that palm. And then those arms are dangling once again. Left palm turns up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Option to stay here. Option to start to move from the shoulder. Easy joints, bigger isn't better. Keeping that left hip connected to the chair deeply option to take those left fingertips up and over to the right. You can do every other one. You can rest. Keep the pelvis anchored here so that left hip really is grounded. And then we find the length. Keep that breath flowing your own rate. And let's take another one or two here. Being gentle with yourself. And again, keeping that breath guided movement. And we'll take that left hand down, soft or tight fist here. Let's circle through the rest one direction, nice and slow. Pause and take it around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then we'll release, release those fingers, taking the hands back to the upper legs or the arms of your chair. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend coming forward as we start to get down through the spine here. Seated cat and cow. So on the inhale, we'll drag the heels of the hands back towards the pelvis, open up through the heart. On the exhale, push the fingertips forward and round. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Noticing how that feels. On that exhale, we're pushing the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair, maybe even sitting to the back of the pelvis as we tuck the tail. On the inhale, sending the tailbone out behind us, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other. You can get the neck involved if you like as we come up through the cervical spine, lifting the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck so there's not just compression there. On the exhale, tuck the chin and draw down and in. Notice 
how this feels for you. This feels great, then stay. If you want to add on with the arms, let's cactus the arms, draw the elbows, the shoulder blades, the um, back of the hands towards each other. And on the exhale, keeping the elbows bent, take the elbows, pinky fingers towards each other and curl in. Inhaling with this openness through the front of the chest, and as we get into the arms, we're opening up through those pectoral muscles. On the exhale, curling down and in. Mm -hmm. Keeping the movement flowing through the entire breath. So that inhale is the opening of the front body. The exhale is the widening of the back body. Let's take another couple of breaths here. You can always rest the arms. You can always rest entirely. Two more. Keep that breath flowing. And notice how your body feels here. Let's stay for that last exhale. Then we'll come all the way back through center, giving yourself any intuitive movement that you need. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out nice and slow. Mm -hmm. And then from here, I'm going to bend that right elbow and tuck the elbow down towards your right rib cage here, palms, palm wide. And that inhale, just like we did um, on that seated cat and cow, drawing that right shoulder back in space. Might come a little bit, it might come a lot. Keep the spine neutral to start with. On the exhale, we're tapping that over towards the left shoulder. Keeping the left shoulder back so the collarbones are still broad. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to be. And if that feels enough in the shoulders, then stay. Coming into a gentle twist here, keeping that left hand down. This is the inhale on the exhale, tapping a little wider over towards the left thing. You're going to take your gaze with you. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping that right hip anchored. Great place to be. If you want to start to build a little strength in the left shoulder too, we're taking that arm up into a cactus. This is the inhale on the exhale, now tapping towards the elbow. The further forward that elbow is, the less you twist, the further back, of course, the more that spine is having to do the work. You can take the gaze with you, even over that right shoulder. Great place to stay, or arms up in a cactus. This is the inhale on the exhale, palm to palm. And again, you get to adjust that hand a little more forward, you do a lot less twisting. A little further back, and you're having to do a whole lot more. Keep the lower body stable and still. That right sitting bone is anchored, not scooting forward. And let's take another two here. Again, that gaze can come over that left shoulder. Coming back through center, this is the inhale, let's stay in a cactus. If you weren't already there, let's take the hands up. This is the inhale, exhaling, turning the palms down, keeping the elbows up. Inhaling cactus, exhaling, kind of like a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Really getting that range of motion through the shoulders. And the next time we take those hands down, let's dangle them next to us, and give those arms a little bit of a break, probably pretty heavy. Big breath in, exhale, let go of tension and tightness. So let's do that a couple more times with the breath, allowing your body to soften and relax. And we're coming to the other side, so we're rooting to rise, and again, connecting once again with the breath. Left elbow bends. On the inhale, let's take that left arm back in space. Exhale, connecting towards or on that right shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to be right here. Option to stay here, option to bring it into a twist. And then we're tapping over a little bit further over towards that right. Keep the left hip anchored this time so it's not shifting with you. 
You can take the gaze with you, and this may be enough right here. Adding on, take that right arm up, and again, the elbow can be forward to the side or back. This is the inhale, uh, exhaling, we're tapping towards that elbow. And just holding that arm up in space means we're building a little strength and stability in that right side. Option to stay here, as long as the breath is steady. Option, palm to palm. And again, you have choice here to bring that right palm a little more forward or a little bit further back. Left hip is anchored. So notice if your pelvis wants to shift and do a little less. Take the gaze with you over that right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Let's take another two here. Keeping connected to that steady breath. Next time we take those hands out, I'm gonna take them all the way down, give them a little wiggle. And we're gonna take that right arm, sweep it round and over and draw the right arm in towards your heart. Roll that right shoulder back and down. So we've got some space in that right shoulder. Hands can come to the lower arm or even the upper arm. And we're getting that length across the top of that shoulder. Breathing. Steady the breath. Longer, steadier, smoother breaths. Soften where you can. If you're holding in your body, then see if you can lessen a little more tension. When you're ready, we'll release that arm. And then that left arm sweeps up and around. Don't expect it to be the same this time as we draw it in. That left shoulder is going to try and um, curl up by the left ear. Try and roll that shoulder back and down. Let me get that opening across the shoulder. And we're breathing any numbness, tingling in the hands or fingers. You're releasing this. And then when you're ready, really slowly give yourself any kind of movement you need to release tension and then we're taking those feet a little wider we've got this external rotation ankles more or less under knees making sure that if you wiggle a little bit um, from side to side you feel stable if you don't feel stable move back in your chair even using the back of the chair for support big breath in exhale it out Fingertips coming to the inside of the leg here. And using those lower ribs, on the inhale, we're coming round and forward, whichever direction you've decided on. And on the exhale, round and back. So this is a more fluid movement. Let the hands support you as you come forward and drift as you come back, trying to slow the movement down. Mm -hmm. Get those shoulders, head and neck involved if that feels really good. This may be a very small movement. It may be imagined. This might not be for your body. Or try and allow this to be as fluid as the breath, as smooth as the breath itself. And then on the next exhale, we'll pause and take those hula hoops round in the opposite direction through the lower ribs. And again, Start small and allow your body to guide you through this more fluid, slow movement. So there's no momentum here. It is a very slow, almost lazy movement as we are aware of what our body needs as we move and if we need to shift and change anything. Keep connected to the breath. Mm -hmm. Let's take another couple. You can always rest. You can always do more. This is your session. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Fingertips come to the inside of those legs. This is the inhale, neutral, rooting to rise. On the exhale, we're gonna dip that right shoulder down and forward. Left shoulder comes back and we glance to the left. 
Inhale, right shoulder back over the right hip. Exhale, and twist. And you can look down and over that left shoulder. You can look even further back behind you. So if there's something really interesting going on there, the tension on that right arm pushing away is lengthening that diagonal over the back of the body. Let's take another couple here. You can always rest. Otherwise, we're coming back through center. You can give yourself a breath or two. And then we're coming to the other side. Left shoulder down and forward. And we're glancing, of course, to the right. Maybe even over that right shoulder. Try and keep the flow of the movement. So with none of these movements, we're hanging out at the bottom or the top of the breath. We're trying to find that full expression of the movement in the full breath. Notice where you feel this. If you need to shift or adjust anything, please do. Let's take another few here. Three more. We all breathe differently and we need different rests at different points. So if you feel like you need to do more or less, please do, go ahead. And we're coming all the way back up through center. And then walking or allowing those feet to come back into a neutral place. We're washing those knees from side to side. Coming back through center. Coming into our next movement. If you happen to have a stack of blocks or um, this is a yoga block or a stack of books, Put it on the inside of the feet. If you do not have that, no big deal. Knees and ankles in towards each other. And first of all, I'll start as if we didn't have a block. We're taking that right knee out to the side, flex through the ankle, spread through the toes. You can even shift that right foot to connect to the left. And we've got this slight external rotation. Sitting back into your chair if you need more support as we will have the opportunity to come forward. Hands on the knees and we're rooting to rise. And this may be enough in the hip here. Option with that long spine hinging from the hips, not from the mid back. This is the inhale, exhale, shoulders and hips for, or shoulders at forward of the hips, inhaling up. Great place to be and you're using the arms of your chair or your legs for support. If you do have a block or a stack of books, then we can take that outer right foot a little higher, making sure that, that the books, the block, um, are supported by the inner left ankle and that just elevates that right hip so we get a little bit more in that right hip. And you can take as many books or blocks as you need to lift it up. Depending on your range of motion, if it's there for you, that right ankle can sit on top of that left knee. Now, if you can get it here, but you can't breathe, then please take it down to a previous um, level. Spread through the toes, ankle is flexed again, wherever you are, that shortens the tendons over the knees and protects it. And we're rooting to rise. Wherever you are, maybe this is enough, shoulders over hips and connect into the breath. Otherwise, keeping those collarbones nice and bright and wide, this is the inhale, exhaling, coming forward, inhaling up as if we're in an imaginary rocking chair. Again, long back and we're hinging from the hips. Option to stay here or come forward and stay. Three breaths here, wherever it is that you happen to be. And if shoulders over hips is a better place for you to be, then stay there. Making sure we're not curling into the back by drawing the belly button in towards the spine and sending that tailbone out behind you a little. So we're not overarching the back. When you're ready, on an inhale, we'll draw the shoulders over hips. If they weren't there already, and wherever that foot is, we will release it. Same thing, other side, knees and ankles in towards each other. 
coming to the outside blade of that left foot. So we've got that external rotation. Great place to stay. If you have anything to elevate that left foot, please do as long as it's firm and secure. And don't be surprised if one side feels very different to the other. Option to take that left ankle on top of that right thigh. And again, this side may feel different, so please honor that. Rooting to rise wherever you are, hands resting gently, we're never pushing. Option to stay, option to come forward on the exhale, inhaling up. This may feel very different this time. And again, long spine, so we're hinging from the hip creases, so we're not rounding or overarching the back. Next time we come forward, option to stay. Belly's drawn in to protect the lower back from arching and the collarbones are broad. You can send that tailbone out behind you a little. As long as we're not overarching, keep the breath steady, keep connected to that smooth breath. And then the next inhale, when, or when you're ready, we're drawing the shoulders back over the hips. And wherever that leg is, we're releasing it. Washing the knees side to side, coming back through center, rooting to rise, steady the breath. And then when you feel like the breath is steady and you're connecting back into how you're doing, it's on your mind, your emotions, your body, connecting to that breath. When you feel ready, I will meet you down on the earth or your version of the earth if you're bringing the earth up to you. Have handy all the things that you need for your relaxation at the end and I'll see you there. Here I am down on the earth and we're gonna come all the way to our back, knees to the sky, feet to the floor, making sure you have as much support underneath you as you need. If when you come back down here, having your head at the same height as your shoulders and hips feels like you're straining your throat, please put a firm folded blanket under your head to release that pressure from your throat. Feet are a hip distance apart. You can pick up the hips and shift them a little closer to your heels so we get that length through the spine, should you wish to. And we're rolling one shoulder blade and another underneath us just softly, which is mirroring that rooting to rise when we're sitting. Take a breath in when you're ready. On an exhale, let that go and let your bones sink a little deeper into the support underneath you as we get used to gravity being a little different here. Take a breath in. Exhale, allow yourself to relax into the support of the earth. And that may take a few breaths to allow that softening to start to happen. And then we start to wake up the back body. So we rest through the feet, just waking up our awareness to the soles of our feet like we did at the beginning of class. Notice the back of the pelvis, if it's uneven or if you need to adjust anything. Notice all the places that the back of your body, all the way to the base of your skull, is um, supported. From here, we're taking the hands down either side of our hips, as wide as feels comfortable in those shoulders. Palms nice and wide, rooting down into the earth. Root down through the shoulder blades, the arms, all the way through those fingers. And then as you connect to the breath, the inhale and the exhale, on the inhale, push evenly into everything on the earth as you hover the hips. That's the inhale. On the exhale, let's tap down. So we're not tapping down all the way 100%. A tap down is we're holding some tension in the body. We're inhaling, lifting, maybe hovering, exhaling down. Notice if you're clenching your jaw, see if you can soften that, soften the muscles of your face. So we're trying to notice 
evenness in the body here. So notice if you're pushing down more into the left leg or the right or the left arm or the right, or one side of your pelvis is lifting before the other. We're trying to even things up here. Inhaling and exhaling. And we're looking for that fluidity here. So this is the smoothness of the movement, not the size of the movement. Option to stay here. Option to lift the hips a little higher if that feels good to you. And tapping down. Nicely done. And this is a great place to stay. There's a lot of tension that is moving through your body here. Don't forget to really utilize the feet. And as we press the feet down, then the muscles of the legs start to um, do the work here. Notice if you're clenching through your um, glute maximus um, or the seat here. And see if you can allow the legs to do the majority of the work instead. Next time we tap down, if you haven't already, let's take a rest. So 100% down, and then take the heels wide, knees in towards each other, take a big breath in. Exhale it out, soften, and let go. Take as many breaths as you need to. And then we'll come back to knees and feet, hip distance. Option two, lift and lower as you've been doing. Or pushing evenly into the back body, inhaling, lifting the pelvis, and holding. Push down through your feet evenly. If you're coming up and down, then continue. Option to notice if you need the stability of your hands and seeing if you can bend the elbows, taking the fingertips and thumbs up towards the ceiling. So we've got less connection down to the earth here. And option, pushing down into those triceps evenly. Option to lift the arms up overhead as if you're holding a beach ball above you, as big or as small as you need for the shoulders. Let's take another three breaths here. Push evenly down, left and right foot, and evenly down into the shoulders, maybe the arms if they're still on the earth. And then on that exhale, as the hips come down, if the arms are lifted, take the hands down at the same rate. Beautiful. And leaving them down there. Hips, um, sorry, heels wide, knees in towards each other, big breath in, exhale it out. Option to take any of those two um, previous movements, lifting and lowering, or lifting and then starting to take away the support of the arms. Option, coming back through center, we've got one more set here. Palms down. On an inhale, pushing through the feet, we lift the hips a little or a lot. And as we lift, we take the arms up, maybe to that beach ball position. Maybe they come overhead. That's the inhale. Exhaling, we're tapping the arms down as we tap the pelvis. Inhaling up and exhaling down. So there's a whole lot more coordination that's happening. Bigger isn't better here. So just because your um, arms don't go quite so high or far back doesn't mean that that's not your full expression. Inhaling and exhaling. So what we're looking for here is coordination and the smoothness of the breath and the movement moving together. Let's take one more. Unless you're resting. And then on that exhale, the hands, the hips come down. This time, taking the soles of the feet together, knees wide. And option to keep the hands either side of the um, hips here or soft fists. Sometimes that works in people's bodies if you have bolsters or blankets. You can allow your knees to go wide and be supported or ankles out, knees in. 
and we breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Nicely done. Then we're taking those knees back into a neutral position, knees and ankles um, hip distance. We're going to push down through the feet, shift the hips to the right hand side. Extend the left leg out long and draw that right knee into the chest, up and over with the help of that left hand, if you wish, over to the side. Right arm can be in a cactus or a T, connecting that right shoulder to the earth. Support underneath that um, right knee, shin, ankle. And in movement or stillness here, so you can play with where that knee comes up towards your chest or away from you, or it can pulse up towards the ceiling and down towards the earth. Keep that right shoulder connected. And the option is to take the gaze over that right shoulder as we get that deep twist through the spine. Coming to that left pinky toe, if that feels good for you. Always adjusting the movement for your body. Gaze can come to center when you're ready, and then we're drawing everything up to center. Right foot down, left foot joins it. Shift the hips back through center, and then over to the left side. Right leg goes long, nice flex in that ankle, if you wish. Keeping that left shoulder anchored, the left knee comes up and over to the right. Left arm can be in a cactus or a T here. And again, movement, play with what feels good in your body here. Gaze can come over that left shoulder. And notice if this movement means you're holding tension. Can you adjust the movement so you find a little bit more softness? Where is it you feel this in your body? When you're ready, the gaze comes through center and that left knee comes up, right, left foot down, right foot joins it and we're recentering ourselves. Knees come back in towards the chest here as we rock and roll a little bit from side to side, massaging that lower back, hands towards those knees, shins, height depends on how long your arm bones are. Option to keep the knees in towards each other or send them wide, and this is a modified happy baby, and we're opening up through the groin here. If it feels good to you, option to bend or to extend the knees, feet up towards the ceiling as if you're kind of squatting on the ceiling. Hands can come to the back of the thighs, back of the shins. You can send them up towards the ankles or the outer feet. And we ground the tailbone down into the earth, tuck the chin so the back of the neck is long, and the back body is anchored to the earth. You can keep this in movement or stillness. And we breathe, opening up through the groin, through the hips here. Option to stay here for longer, or those feet were up towards the ceiling, we'll bend the knees. Help those knees back in towards each other and give yourself one more little squeeze. Any other movement you need to um, end your practice, please do. Otherwise, we're taking those feet down to the earth. Constructive rest, knees together, ankles wide. Great way to lessen any pressure on your lower back or your relaxation. So, a lot of people like to spread out like a starfish. You can take any support under the back of the thighs or the knees, a bolster or a couple of pillows great place to be again softening through the lower back you can be on your side on your belly or you can take a seated meditation anything that feels really good to you the recommendation is to get as comfortable as you possibly can and of course that's different for each and every one of us So giving yourself permission to really land in a place that suits your body. 
taking any extra time to add props, softness, warmth, maybe an eye pillow or a clean dark sock over your eyes, turning the lights down, putting some music on, anything that feels really good. And then we're settling down into the support underneath us. If it feels comfortable for you, allow your eyes to drift into a soft gaze or close your eyes. Take your awareness to your... If it feels really good to you, start to drift your eyes to a soft gaze or even close your eyes. Take a breath in when you're ready. On the exhale, allow your bones to sink a little deeper into the support underneath you. And take a few breaths for that to happen again and again and again. start to allow our bodies to rest on the earth. All the supports underneath you, allow them to hold you. This is where we let go of all attachment to our practice, to everything that happened, to everything that is going to happen later. We start to rest in this moment right now. And it's not that the thoughts stop, the distractions stop. They're still there, they're always there. But we start to withdraw our awareness a little bit further back. So we're starting to be aware of them and notice them as if we're observing them. Like, huh, my mind is thinking about this thing right now. Interesting. Or, I can feel my left hip. Hmm. We start to observe rather than get caught up in the, ah, oh, my left hip, that's because I did this thing yesterday and I wonder when it's gonna stop hurting and maybe I should have a bath tonight and all of those thoughts. So we notice and then we allow our awareness to stay open to whatever else we notice moment to moment. And it is a practice, just as much as movement is, if not more so. And we keep showing up, not expecting to be perfect, and notice moment by moment. And we start to build this awareness, which is the witnessing of the moment. So we start to be very present as we notice everything that is happening in that moment. We might notice, huh, my ears can hear rain. Or I feel the sensation. My mind is thinking about my to-do list or dinner or whatever it happens to be. So we start to notice that we are this awareness that can observe rather than confusing ourselves with we are our thoughts. We start to notice that we are not our worries and concerns. That we are actually a little bit further back from them and we can notice them and observe. 
we start to gather this awareness of our true self. That we have awareness behind everything. mind is exceptionally good at taking care of things for us. It leaps into action always. So we go from, I feel this sensation in my hip, to the mind, oh, what are we going to do about that? Okay, so we know that this works. We know that maybe you need to um, move it a little more, or maybe you need to um, get up and walk, or maybe you need a bath, or, and that's what the mind does. It starts to problem solve. And it's fantastic for that. And you notice these beautiful tangents the mind's mind goes off to, trying to organize our life and help us and support us. And we give ourselves moments of rest as we notice the mind and what it does. And even open up to gratitude, to the mind being so busy, making sure that you're safe, that you're taking care of yourself. But we also notice the concerns and the worries. It is said that we have over six and a half thousand thoughts a day. And five and a half thousand of them are exactly the same thoughts as we thought yesterday. And when we notice, instead of being in the thoughts themselves, we can start to notice the patterns we observe. Stay here for as long as you like. Or expand your awareness down to the tips of your toes and fingertips and the crown of your head, taking in your inside body and outside body. You might notice it as energy, as humming, a vibration, or something else entirely. Start to notice the breath in the body, the expansion and softening of your own breath rhythm. might start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale just like you did earlier, just a little. We start to steady and smooth that out. As we start to connect the breath and the body and start to become very present. And when you're ready, take a deep full breath in, filling up and on the exhale, sigh it out. Releasing tension, tightness, discomfort. And you can do that a couple of times until that more mindful breath allows you to awaken your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, and allow your body to move for you as you maybe stretch wide or long. Maybe you want to curl in and give yourself a hug. What is it that your body is asking of you? And maybe it's staying in stillness. You get to choose. This is your practice. And you can stay exactly where you are to finish up today. Or if there's another shape you want to slowly and lazily make your way to, please do. Feeling into your body, paying attention with that expanded awareness that you now maybe feel a little more connected. When we settle into wherever it is we've decided to finish up today, and there's no wrong way to be, bringing your hands in any kind of gesture that suits you today, and again, there's no perfect place. It's just the perfect gesture for you today. It doesn't have to be a certain thing. And we'll 
Settle deeply into the support underneath us wherever we've chosen to be, lifting up through the heart space, opening up through the heart in your own way. Take a breath in when you're ready, and on the exhale, if you haven't already, soften your gaze, close your eyes, or drop your chin towards your chest, or all of those. Get very present in this moment. And thank yourself sincerely for your time, your movement, your breath, and your attention. Building that connection to yourself. From my heart to yours, thank you for joining me today. Namaste.